There we go. Hey. He's him. I'm me. You know where you're at. It's PUI time. Number 28. Uh, those of you who've never joined us before, we talk about fantasy football, football, NFL, um, sports in general. Nerd um, stuff. Nerd stuff. Nerd, nerd stuff. stuff. We're going to have a lot of Star Wars a day. Um, we're not going to get as much into our usual Arrow, Flash, a little bit of Gotham today, but Arrow, Flash, Marvel, because someone had like something explode in his house. So. Fucking lanky, but it's a good, it's good luck though. Well, good for it. It's good, good, good luck. luck. Well, it's good no, luck. my hot water heater like tanked, caught fire the whole nine yards. It was bad. It was very, very bad. Very bad. Oh. Okay. Um, fantasy football. Uh, so do you want to go first? Go first. Okay. That's what happens. <laughs> that was the hot water heater, kids. Oh shit. Yeah, it got bad. So, needless to say, didn't get caught up on much TV. Plenty of time for football because I took care of all that during the week. I even took a day off work. So, that being said, Terrence totally crushed me because I didn't realize that Daddy beat you. Bad. My home was double. I didn't realize that Eddie Lacey was underperforming as much as he was because I haven't been studying as much as I should. So, I sat James Starks like a dumbass. So, that's the whole reason I lost. Hmm. However, I made some adjustments this week. I look forward to doing a lot better because I also played uh, Lamar Aiken because I didn't realize Steve Smith was going to be as recovered as he was. I thought he was going to be just a little bit nicked up, not as useful, and that was wrong. So we uh, made course corrections, dropped a couple of guys, picked up a couple other guys, dropped my defense, and went out and got Miami this morning first thing because they are playing like a team with desire and passion and I'm thrilled to death. I had my I took Miami and the Lions at the beginning. I dropped Miami because I wanted more wide receivers. And now I'm back to dropping the Lions, picking up Miami. They've already had their bye week. I should be able to ride them the rest of the year. Bam. Okay. Um and Blake Bortles. Gotta have some Blake Bortles. He is the most consistent quarterback right now. Mm, I have to agree with you because my quarterback, Matt Ryan, he, he was well on projections this week. I don't know what it is, but New Orleans just had their number. Uh, I played no, – Tom Watson had their number. That's who had their fucking number. It wasn't well, the Saints in He didn't play defense. Well, it was just ridiculous because the percent change in the amount of people that own Tom Watson now is ridiculous. It changed by 5 or 10% across the board in like Yahoo, ESPN, CBS, everywhere. Everyone went out and picked him up being a points chaser. Kids – it was one fat guy. It was one time. You're not going to see that production out of him again until people forget about it until like week 12 or 13. Don't waste the time. Uh, okay. I played Mike. I beat him by about 17, 18 points. Uh, Swites or Hardy? Swites. He was 4-1. and one, Now he's 4-2. It was like three or four of us tied for second place. Look at Charlotte hanging on like a chair. She is. She's just doing really well. Let me look at the league real quick. Yeah, she is. And, uh, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Each division has employees and non-employees, which I need to change that. It needs to be something else. Maybe dicks and non-dicks. I don't know. Dicks and uh, awesome. Final destination. Terrence is in first place. I play him this week. I'm projected to beat him. But we shall see how that looks. Terrence, if we had a manager of the year award, it would have to go to Terrence. Why is that? Because he's been in most flawless in his moves. Uh, he also has not had a serious well, – maybe he has just this moment. Had he played me healthy, I think I would have given him a run for his money. Hmm. But how in the hell was I supposed to know Carson Palmer was going to take a shit versus the Steelers? I thought that was a foregone conclusion that he was going to rock the house. Well, the Steelers have been stepping up the last few weeks. We'll talk about that more during our football talk. Um, so it's me, <coughs> myself, uh, Charlotte, Mike, and Harvey. Oh, Swites, 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 and Harvey are all tied for second place in the overall league. I'm tied for first place in our division. You are in our division, correct? I'm in the basement. Yeah. You know, uh, Jess has the most points in our league. She's crushing. Scored, no, scored against her. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Six hundred. No, doesn't. I do. No, you do now. Six hundred. Before, before this week, she did. She was way ahead of anyone else. I have points for again. Who's scoring the most points? Charlotte is up there. Corn fed. Jessica. Oh no, wait, no. Scoring the most. Scoring. 
She has she, you and her have the most sport against you. I'll give you that. Cork bed six ninety two. Ain't no one even in well. Terrence is a bit fifty of that. Me, James, uh, Loving Cousins is up there too. That's all right. I'm gonna get Landry Jones this week. <laughs> Yep, sometimes you, you're doing good. It's just you got points scored against you. It's insane. Well, I'm just well. I, in I, fairness I, to Jeff, she is banked on the fact that Peyton Manning is going to turn around. Throw everything to everyone. Well, her, her most of her entire team's on a fucking bye week this week. So me and her, I really pulled through the waiver wire last night to help get her through it. And I was going to play Big Portals this week, but he's playing Buffalo, so I'm not going to. Big Brothers. I'm going to take Carson Palmer versus Baltimore. I think that's a better I'm matchup. I'm going to game center real quick, and what's our projection? I really want to kick Gene's ass. I'm projected to beat Terrence by three points. I'm projected to kick Gene's ass by four. I wish on the app it would show you their projections so you can adjust things. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Stats. Okay. You um, go into game center. One is thinking more than well. I got it now. I got it now. I know game center. I'm trying to see if anyone on my bench is projected more than what they're getting. I got I got my waiver pick up. Yes. I got all three of mine. <laughs> you need them more than no, no, I'm not trying to be mean, but you mean you need them more than I need mine. Well, so. who in the hell was going to predict? Like the beginning of the season, everyone was talking about <coughs> now Al Galore was gonna be the number two guy. The number two guy. He was gonna be there, he's gonna be the number two guy. Who was gonna think that the Eagles offense was gonna take a gigantic shit on themselves? And completely not use the weapons that they have utilized. Like it's Sam Bradford. Aguilar has nine points, nine fucking points all the year. Season. It's fucking ridiculous. So he's going to be going bye bye very shortly after I finish coming through the waiver wire because I'm not done getting rid of people yet. I'm literally probably going to like fucking tank my roster. Yeah, uh, in my other league, I, uh, there's pretty much nothing I could have done to win. Antonio Brown got me two fucking points. The only thing I could have done to win is start Alshon Jeffy. That would give me 20, 20 more points. That would have been 120. I lost 102 to 151. Mm-hmm. I could have started Matthew Stafford and got another 15. I, nothing I could have done would have won. It, 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 he'd had to do something really stupid. And just everyone I picked up that's supposed to be good This isn't playing well this year for this league. In my other league, I destroyed the guy. Well, I'll get to that in a second. And we'll pretty much be done with fantasy. And we'll move on to our uh, fantasy football talk. I, I just want to be Terrence this week. I want to be 5-2. I want to be ahead of our division. I want to be top for first. All right. Here, here's why I picked up Blake Bortles for anyone thinking I'm a complete retard. First week, 7 points. Not impressive. Miami, 25 points. Week 3, New England, 18 points against New England. That's not bad. Indy, 20. Tampa Bay, 30. Houston, 25. Buffalo this week, I'm not liking the matchup. They get a bye after that, and then it's, then they get the Jets, which is still rough. But then week 10, when I need them the most, because that's when Roethlisberger sits. Sorry, but uh, in my ESPN fantasy football, you can put these as your emblems. You don't want to be a Wookiee? Wouldn't you like to be a Wookiee, too? There's a rumor <laughs> that... Uh, oh, then I'll get to that in a second. Yeah, we had a whole conversation about that. But then after Baltimore... I don't know. After New, the Jets in Week Nine, they have Baltimore, Tennessee, San Diego, Tennessee, Indianapolis, Atlanta, and New Orleans. Now, Blake Bortles is going to be a great ad <laughs> after Week Ten. I won this game, ninety-five to fifty-eight, and there's literally nothing I could have done to get any more points anywhere. How in the fuck? Did the Packers defense end up with negative one in that league and like thirty fucking points? I don't know the scoring. Like, this league frustrates me because that, that's that's retarded. Because they at least kept me float. Or I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. know. I'm not even. Don't ask me, man. Uh, NFL. Don't ask me, bro. But uh, anything else on fantasy? No, nope. we're gonna do a quick NFL rundown. All righty. Uh, we'll switch right over NFL.